everyone, my name is Alex Bontrager and I'm on the marketing team here at Formula Trailers. And I'm Brad Bell with Formula Trailers. I'm the Territory Sales Manager for Formula and Impact Trailers. And Brad, I'm really excited for this cargo concept segment. Um, we're talking about something that people ask about all the time, and it's the difference between an aluminum and a steel trailer. They ask whether one has more options than the other. Should you be looking into one depending on what you're hauling? The list is endless. So to jump right in immediately, what are you going to notice differentiates an aluminum and a steel trailer? First thing I notice when I look for, for a steel or aluminum trailer is I look at the tongue of the trailer. If the tongue is painted black, it's a steel trailer because steel, steel trailers have to be primed and painted so they'll have longevity. The aluminum product does not have to be painted. It comes out as a mill finish or an aluminum color and it stays that way. So when you walk up to a tongue of a trailer and you look down, is it black or is it an aluminum color? That'll tell you if it's aluminum or a steel trailer. When you're towing a vehicle, what are just some things that immediately differentiate? Is it lighter? Is it heavier? Are you going to notice it? Do you need a bigger car? Depending on the application, the type of trailer, the aluminum trailers are lighter weight okay. than steel trailers. Uh, depending on the, the trailer itself, some can be lifted up by hand. Uh, some of the bigger applications, no, not so much. But the uh, general application is that the uh, aluminum trailers are lighter weight, so smaller tow vehicles come into play. Okay. So you don't have to have the big, fancy truck to pull a, a small aluminum trailer. Okay. So structurally, let's go over some differences with aluminum and steel. Aluminum first. How do we build these things? Well, the aluminum trailers are completely tubular structured. They're tube structures on the roof bows, tube structure on the sidewalls, tube structure on the floor main rails and tube structure within the cross members. So everything is tubular. The uh, aluminum trailers are traditionally a premium product line. Uh, so there's limited uh, sizes and limited options that will go on an aluminum frame versus a steel frame. Availability also, there are more uh, steel trailer manufacturers than there are aluminum trailer manufacturers. Here at Formula Trailers, we look at the application of the trailer and we know whether we can build it in aluminum or a steel based off of what you're trying to use the trailer for. Mm -hmm. So what about steel? What structurally sets this apart from aluminum? Steel, you have a lot more versatility. Steel on the uh, wall posts, you have either a tube wall post or a Z post, depending on if it's e economically made or if you want a premium brand. Mm -hmm. The uh, options are, are more readily available and more widespread on a steel trailer. You can go uh, much higher heights. You can go up to stacker height, which is 11 foot of interior height, or you can put up to 8K axles on a steel trailer. We, we don't have those uh, applications on an aluminum frame trailer just because aluminum is a softer metal. So you have larger capacities of axles, heavier capacity of ramp doors, um, more options that are available for steel trailers. Traditionally, what kind of application would a steel trailer be used for? Steel trailers traditionally are lawn and landscapers, contractors, uh, heavy usage type trailers, <clears throat> excuse me, that um, have higher weight capacities and things of that nature. Um, if you flip that over to an aluminum product line, uh, product lines for aluminums are usually power sports applications or um, motorsports applications, motorcycle trailers, aluminum sled trailers, things of that nature. Is there a cost difference when it comes to the two of these? The aluminum trailers traditionally run uh, about 25 to 30 percent more than a steel trailer. The again, the steel applications, you know, you can have an economically made trailer or a premium made trailer, depending on where that falls. Mm -hmm. Uh, Formula Trailers makes just a premium model aluminum frame trailer. Cool. Um, do we offer unlimited options on both of these? Unfortunately, no. Uh, the aluminum frame models, again, uh, we, uh, we have a full engineer department that's put together these, uh, the aluminum frame trailers, but we have limitations mm -hmm. because, again, it's a softer metal. So we will eliminate the 8K axles and higher uh, capacity ramp doors and and especially the taller taller trailers. Now steel trailers, you know we can 
the the options are almost endless. Absolutely. And we preach about the safety of everything we do here. It starts from the manufacturing of these trailers to getting them a safe trailer, getting it safely down the road. And that's what that comes to. We have that list of options, but like you said at the end of the day, engineering has to go through that and make sure we're getting a safe trailer on the road. Yeah, engineering signs off on the models that we build and we have a tremendous uh, workforce that builds the trailers for us to get you a good trailer. Absolutely. And at the end of the day, is one better than the other? Absolutely not. It depends on your usage of, of whether you're in, uh, what type of space you have to store the trailer or what your budget is for your trailer uh, uh, or your tow vehicle. Uh, those will all depend on what type of trailer we have, steel or aluminum, uh, for your application. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section below. And be sure to tune into our YouTube channel for more cargo concepts. Brad, what if they're ready to purchase a trailer, find their dealer? Can they get a hold of you guys? www.formulatrailers.com. Check out our dealer section, fill it out, and we'll find the closest dealer near you.